Good day traders, I'm Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. It's been a while since I've posted content. Today we're gonna to go in depth in an overview of what I hope to provide for you in the coming sessions. Why that is, these are things that we won't be able to dispute. They're concrete facts, but they'll hopefully impact your trading, minimize your downside, give you a bit more insight as to what's happening in the market, how we can develop some key simple strategies around these tactics and scale them up, reproduce them and scale them up in size. And then also there's going to be videos regarding the tactics and how they played out each day, your mindset and how you approach the market, and then how that execution happens in live time and all the variables and tricks that the smart money play on you to try and deceive you out of smart trades when you're in them. So stay tuned traders, I think you're going to get a lot out of this video and the coming videos. They're going to simplify things and explain everything in detail, day to day, the six major pairs that I follow, how that can hopefully take everything to the next level for both you and I. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. Good day traders, Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. Today I'm going to go over some key factors that I use that will show how we set those up on the charts, how they can hopefully allow you to get a better idea of what's happening in the market in terms of the manipulation tactics, and the stop hunts, all the different variables and tricks that the smart money play, how we can apply that each day to London and New York. I don't trade Asia. There's a reason for that and we'll talk about that as well. But today we're going to go into some of the eight key reasons how I trade the markets. And for the most part, these are mostly indisputable facts. So for example, number one, the weekly high and low. So I use an indicator, which I'm going to show you in the coming video, how to set your charts up, that as the market trades day to day, hour to hour, and widens, if, it, if the weekly high gets increased or the weekly low gets increased, it'll draw a line that spreads apart as the week evolves. Now again, that's something that neither one of us can disagree on. Then we have the daily highs and lows. So again, these are these are already in place perhaps from the previous day's high and lows, which I use an indicator to show me those. These are key areas where institutions will either be exiting trades or entering them, so they can have a significance to us each day as the London and New York sessions are trading. Then we have the Asia high and low. So as the new day evolves before we head into the London session, Asia will have created a high and a low of the day. Now in some cases this may involve the day, previous day's high and low and the weekly high and low. But again, these are three levels above and below that we can agree on with complete certainty. Then we're going to talk about timings. The importance of timings in the market and when these high and lows are in place, how the session timings and the changeovers between sessions have a very big significance in terms of how they use this to trap traders, how they use it to trick traders into entering into the wrong direction, and how they also use them to execute stop hunts back towards previous days high and lows. So again the timings which we're going to go into are indisputable. So we all can agree that and I'll be using New York Times, it's always New York Eastern Standard Time whenever I reference a time. And we'll be using 15 minute charts. For the simplicity of all of this, I encourage you to use 15 minute charts, not multiple time frames. We'll go into that later, but it's really important for you to start to recognize on one time frame to keep it as simple as possible what's happening based on these levels and the timings. Then we're going to go into specific patterns that happen at these timings at these levels and how they use that to trap traders when the reversals are, are obvious in the market and when you can enter a position 
with possibly the lowest amount of downside and the maximum amount of upside and how to measure that in terms of profit targets and how to manage those trades. Then we're going to talk about the weekly cycles, the weekly patterns, about you know market maker templates, uh, peak formations, different things again that will allow us to hopefully maximize the upside on a trade and minimize our downside. We're going to talk about news, when to avoid the market when there's news uh, on the calendar, and if I am going to trade, when I'll go to the market once the news has been executed. The whole point of all of these setups are that they're reproducible and they are scalable. I also only follow six of the major pound cross pairs. And I'm going to go into that in detail as well in the coming videos and the reasons why. And those are the pound Swiss, the pound Aussie, the pound New Zealand, the pound US, the pound yen, and the pound Canadian. Those pairs, without fail, will normally move 40 to 50 pips each session. Now, not all those trade setups uh, meet my criteria in terms of entering them, but there's a minimum of one trade a day of 50 pips that will usually move fairly quickly from one side to the other or with the trend, if it's a trend trade, and how we can maximize our opportunities when those trade setups present. One of the concepts that I want you to grasp out of this video is that I'll use the term inside the box a lot and what I'm referring to during the day and sometimes during the week is that we are inside of the high and the low. I don't enter the market inside of this box unless I'm at the extreme of the high or the low and that also plays out uh, in the weekly cycle as well. I like to try and trade near the low of the week at the low of the day if that, if that opportunity presents at the right time with the right pattern or at the high of the week at the right time with the right pattern. So these are some of the tactics we're going to go over and as I mentioned in the intro the tactics are going to explain the mechanics of the setups, the timings, the patterns and the reasons why. But then we're going to talk about your mindset. So I, I have taken a complete step back from trying to make pips in the market to identifying the best setups and then taking as much size on those trades as possible to maximize that move. So I would rather get a 50 pip trade once a week. Now you just heard me say that there's one per day, but I would rather get one trade per week at the biggest size within my risk parameters then try and scalp 25 pips here, 30 here, 40 there, and say I got 250 pips, but it's not at size. I want to scale my trades up as big as possible with reproducible patterns that show up week in and week out. Then we're going to also go in depth each day with the live performance issues, all the variables and manipulation tactics that they use in live time to trick you out of a losing position or to manipulate you to entering into the wrong direction prior to the market shifting and going in the opposite direction. So hopefully you're going to get some immense value out of this traders. I'm not selling you a course. I'm not uh, going to put you in a membership group or anything else. I'm just going to show you day to day what I deal with. I'm going to show you the indicators and how to set your charts up, how you can apply those yourself. You can use other things that you may already be finding profitable with your own trading and then how we can scale those up each week and also avoid entering into the market where we get trapped. And the reason why this is, is that the market will move around and create all these what look like good trade setups, but they're trapping traders inside and then they'll issue a stop hunt where they've placed their stop losses, clear the board and then resume in the original direction of where they want to move the market, which is why in many cases you might have been in a trade, been stopped out, and then watched it continue to move in the direction that you originally had a thesis that it would go. But again, this is where the timings, the session changeovers are so important. The equity opening times are key here. So stay tuned traders. In the next video we're going to go into how to set your charts up, uh, how to download the indicators, and we'll go from there. Hi traders, it's Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. 
If you haven't done so, please head over to my website at stacyburktrading.com. I create updates on almost a daily basis and I would love for you to receive them. Just click on the blog. If you want to enter your name and your email address, I'll send you my free audio program, The 7 Step Daily Routine for High Performance Traders. This is essential knowledge for all traders in all markets. And this is for helping traders to master the market with discipline, confidence, and a winning mindset. I appreciate all your feedback and comments. As always, traders, stay disciplined and may the markets go with you.